dancers, I'm Liwen from Dance Insanity, and today we are doing the samba. Specifically, the samba Kusada's walk, which goes a little like this. Walk, a walk, a walk. Now, why is the samba Kusada's walk so important for samba? Master the walk, master the dance. To do the samba Kusada's walk, what do you need? You need a kick-ass attitude and this very tutorial. Let's get started. The best way to learn the Samba Kusada's walks is to break the walk down into four sections. That way you will master each position and eventually you will piece them all together to do the perfect Kusada walk. Let's take a look at all four positions. We'll start with that weight on the right leg. Position number one is you bring your ankles to pass and both heels are lifted. Position number two, you slide your left foot forward, both heels are still lifted. Position number three, you lower into your front heel, bend into your front knee. And position number four is you extend through your back foot into the toe finishing your body line. And that's all four positions. I know you want to see it on the other side. So let's do that. Now starting with your weight on the left. Left knee is bent, right knee is straight. Position one, ankles together, both heels lifted. Position number two, two straight legs, both heels still lifted. Position number three, lower into your front heel, bend the front knee. And position number four, extend through the back foot all the way to the toe. I know you want to get the perfect Kusada's walk. And to do that, you need to hit all four of those positions. So that's why in today's tutorial, we're doing those four positions to the count of one, two, three, four. To make sure that you hit each of those positions so that eventually you will be able to do the Kusada's walks to the regular samba timing. As you're doing these four positions slowly, you might find it to be a struggle to have to hold each position. And that's really good for you because it forces you to engage all your muscles and train you for better balance. So let's do that again. Left side now, then right side. Weight is on your left foot. Slight bend in your left knee, right leg extended straight. Position one, position two, position three, and position four. Let's go straight into the right side. Position one, two, three, four. Okay, that's your four positions. We're gonna do this to music, and here are the counts. So let's just practice with the counts first. Start with your weight on the left foot, and the counts go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And again, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And we're out of space! Yay! That just means that we're going to reset it over on this side and do that again. So again, Start with your weight on the left foot. Seven, eight, we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Nice job. You might think the Kusada's walks is really hard, and that was what I thought when I first learned it. And breaking it down slowly, just like the way I'm showing you, is what made a big difference. Not just for my Kusada's walks, but for my samba dance in general. So, bang for your buck, yeah. Learn this in one step, and your samba is gonna be awesome. Are you ready for music? I submit that you are. Music, let's hit it. We're gonna start always with your weight on the left foot. Left foot bent, right leg straight. And five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think I just counted. 
count it to eight. But you get it. The five is the one, right? Okay, let's see. I'll count to four this time. And five, I mean, one. One, two, three, four. Go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's see that again. Wait on the left foot. And one, two, three, here you go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And go together. Use your strong core. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And let's reset that. You take a break. And weights on the left foot. And one, two, engage your center. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, control your landing on the three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one more time through. One, two, three, let's go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And a one, two, three, four. One more time. One, two, three, four, contract. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So those are our four positions. And for some of you who are really keen observers, you might have noticed that when I did position one, I also did a contraction with the pelvis. A little like this. And if you want to get that going, you gotta check out this other video, which has an awesome drill to get that contraction going. So make sure you practice along there, practice along here, and just samba casadas walks everywhere you go because samba is so awesome. Thank you for sharing your love of dance with me. If you enjoyed this video, enjoyed this drill, even if it was challenging, give me a big like. Subscribe to our channel to support us so we can keep making videos for you. Thank you very much for joining me today. My name is Lee Wen from Dance Insanity and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Ciao!